So if you watched the live stream, we finally found out what was on these carts. Uh, this was an early build of OutRun 2019. Uh, in fact, it had a completely different intro screen. And this is the first X-Men game. Uh, and I really couldn't tell what the difference was between this copy and my own retail copy. Uh, I, I guess I shouldn't have been that surprised uh, by that one because I found it in a retail X-Men case and there was even a dried, flaked off uh, X-Men label in there floating around. So, uh, but when I did pick them up, I felt an immediate uh, difference. Obviously, there was no label. I could say that this cartridge was different, but yeah, I felt this. I felt an immediate difference between your standard um, Sega Genesis cartridge. In fact, I have a scale here. We can test we can test that out and see what each one of these weighs. 100 grams. Which uh, I'm an American, so we got ounces. It's around four ounces or 3.625 ounces. And the other one weighs about the same. And this is your standard Sonic 2 retail copy. It's around half the weight. And just to be fair, uh, or <laughs> fair, whatever. I don't have every single game cartridge, but um, this is your heavier game on the Sega Genesis. It has more ROM chips and it has a battery in there, so it should weigh more. Alright, so it's in the middle of the two, 70 grams. Alright, and so yeah, distinguishing features. There's no dip switches or anything like that. There is a hole, you can see, through there. I guess if it was uh, found its way to some retail store, the retailer would then say, hey, this isn't a retail copy. This is something that needs to be returned to Sega. But besides that, it has um, standard Phillips head screws on the back instead of your security head screws that are on your, your regular Genesis cartridge. But yeah, I'm making this video so we can check out the interior physical contents of uh, each of these. So. Check that out, shall we? Maybe I'll speed this up. Maybe I'll, it's not going to take me that long, so. How was your day, huh? Weather good where you are? I guess Australia would be it's getting towards summer there. Alright, so this is, if I hadn't switched them up, this is Outrun 2019. I guess 1020 is the build date, I guess. And 0, 1, 2, and 3 are the ROM chip locations. And it says 8 mega. So I'm assuming that's 8 megabits, which is 1 megabyte. So this entire board has 1 megabyte of space. Or maybe each one of these is 1 megabyte. I doubt it. It's probably this whole thing is. Yeah, I mean, space. <laughs> Man, they really compress things down, haven't they? So, um, but yeah, one megabyte of space. It's the back side. Cool. Let's compare that to a standard retail copy. I do not have Outrun 2019. I. To be fair, I'd, if I did, I would have that. I do have X-Men. Whatever. They're, they're all going to be around the same. If you open up enough Genesis cartridges, you'll find out they're very much the same. Alright. Except, you know, the, actually the board can differ. This is made by Sega. And uh, I've seen Konami and uh, Capcom games printed on their own branded boards, so I guess they didn't have to pay Sega to and they could just print them directly. Uh, but yeah, one giant chip. Don't know how big that is. And I, you know, don't have the size of Sonic 2 memorized. But there you go. And just to be fair, let's open up uh, X-Men. See what that 
What's going on in there, huh? X-Men, 1229, 0, 1, 2, and 3. Same board. I guess you could look into that chip and find out the exact size of each one of these. But um, they're burned and then they're soldered onto the board. So they're not even socketed. I don't know if that was done automatically or somebody had to do it manually every time. But... Uh, yeah, pretty neat. Um, I don't really have much else to say about these. These are obviously just one example of a, of a Genesis prototype. Um, I've seen, you know, even NES and uh, Game Boy ones with little dip switches on them, or they have a longer board. Like the um, GameCube prototypes, they're even ones that have uh, they're burned onto ROM chips, not rather than a CD. Um, at least some of them are, and they are these really long ass boards that you can just plug into a um, certain type of dev kit and, and, and boot the game. So yeah, if you want to see these running, check out the live stream and uh, links below or wherever they move this in the future, the description area. It's in the description area of the video, so check it out. Thank you.